options. I would plan to drive as far down as we need to drive to reach the lower bound of the exposed rock band. If we can't climb pretty reliably up these rocks at 25 degrees, we're not going into this crater. Once again, there was only one way to replace opinion with knowledge, test it. They built a replica of Endurance Crater at JPL. Guided by pan cam images of the rocks, they raided a local Home Depot for patio stones. These rocks had approximately the right uh, strength and the approximately the right kind of surface texture and properties that they that they feel that they understand about the rocks that we're going to be driving on in Mars. They spread sand and ended up with a pretty good match between California and Mars. We tilted up the platform and we basically drove the rover in a number of directions to see how it responded to this simulated rock field that is as close as we can imagine right now to be what we want to drive on in endurance. All right, here we go. No, yes. It is. Oh. No. Oh. A little slippish here. Come on, baby. Come on, darling. No problem. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Our results were were exceptionally good. In fact, I think everybody felt that the rover performed better than we would have probably guessed it would have. We see the same kind of performance when we first start to go into Endurance Crater, and we believe what we're doing is safe and well controlled. Now they had ground truth. They had a chance to enter and the prospect of getting out. Opportunity spent the next six months exploring endurance. She ratted 11 rocks and proved that liquid water at Meridiani had affected many layers in the 20 meter deep stack of rock. Conclusion, at some time in the Martian past, a lot of water had altered a lot of rocks across many kilometers of the Meridiani Plains. Opportunity had done it again and headed off south. For Spirit, for more than half a year, it had been a long, dry haul. Then, at last, everything changed. On Sol 157, we crossed over to these older Columbia Hill rocks, and it's a completely different geologic environment. The Weary Spirit team thought they'd finally reached the end of the rainbow. They named one rock Pot of Gold. It contained minerals and elements that were possible evidence of ancient water. We knew from Pot of Gold that something was different out there. We started finding hematite and lots of sulfur. And then we find even more hematite and more sulfur and now gertite and, and, and more salt. Once we got there, then it became clear that we moved to a very old environment in those old rocks where water existed either at the surface or very close to the surface and strongly modified those rocks. Farther up, a rock named Clovis. First a brush, then a deep rat hole of some nine millimeters. Then studied by the Mossbauer and APXS. Result, clear evidence of Geertite. These targets are really the turning point and Clovis just because of the Geertite. You cannot have Geertite without having lots of alteration somewhere. The science might have been golden, but the engineering was having problems. By now, Spirit had traveled six times farther than mission success. Every day that we do a drive, we get data on the wheels and, and how much power that they're using. And each of the wheels uses about the same amount of power, but we started to notice that this right front wheel was using more power than the other five. And this, as time was going on over the course of several weeks, this was getting worse and worse, and it was getting worse at a faster rate. What about backing up the hill and not dragging it? Does that still take some pressure off of that wheel? If we're going backwards, and it's not a lead wheel. It's a it takes some, tailwind. but not. It still has the pressure. Anytime you drive that wheel, you know, it's a fleeting resource. But how fast it's depleting, we don't know. Right? 
This time, it was Spirit who was simulated in the sandbox. Mobility engineers locked the troublesome wheel and measured the drag. They realized Spirit used less power driving backwards.